Hi guys, the triangle drill is back. Now after last week's century break on the T-drill, and it's been five months since I completed this um, this drill, I thought I'd to give it another go. Uh, I shot this video on the Sunday. This was the day after I completed the T-drill. Now, this little routine looks basic um, obviously in the triangle formation concentrating around the pink and black stuns and screws and run throughs um, but I thought I'd give it another go um, so I was feeling good from the Saturday um, so I thought yeah I'll give this a go five months then we're starting off we're up to 14 already feeling good this is a lovely little shot off that top cushion. Nice high on the black. Really good uh, drill this one. Um, highly recommend it. It's not too taxing. You can play some nice basic shots depending on your ability. Um, if you're a little bit more advanced, it might be a bit easy, but it's a good it's a good little drill to get your eye in. You know, when you first get to the club, just to get your arm moving and um, put a few balls instead of just, you know, throwing the balls around the table and just hitting them from wherever they land. I'm up to 29 now. Um, but I was thinking maybe bring back this little series and try and go for maybe a clearance. Um, I mean, even getting a hundred break is is uh, quite tricky. You still got to pop fifteen reds. Um, you, you know, it may look easy because you've only got three on the table, but you've still got to pop them, and you have still got to be in in position in and around the pink to get that high break. I mean, you can lose the white, you know, up the table towards the blue, um, which then makes it a little bit more difficult to get the century. As you can see, um, keeping nice control of the cue ball on 45. Um, for me, this drill, um, I do play a few shots into the middle. As you know in previous previous videos and conversations we've had, I've struggled with the middle pocket. Um, but you've got to practice those at the end of the day. Um, you can't avoid the middle pocket. In snooker, you you know you have to pop the ball in the middle pocket at some point. Um, but it's all about practice at the end of the day. It's getting confidence, um, seeing the angles, and you know trusting your trusting your sort of position, your line, the way you're lining the shots up. As I find, I sort of second guess the middle pockets as I mentioned in the previous video. I'm I'm hitting the knuckle <clears throat> of the middle cushion which is causing the ball to be um, spat out and I'm missing it and it's costing me you know some big breaks so this triangle drill is is not too taxing as I say you know you look how quick we've got up to 69 um, you know and we're three and a half minutes in so good little drill good little practice I quite enjoyed this one so it was Sunday so it was quite quiet I thought I'd we'll give it a go racing to 70 Playing some nice, some nice shots. Lovely little shot there. I'm always remembering to stay high. That is the key. That's the key in every shot, really. You don't want to be low because you're you're losing the white up the table, which you don't want. So we're four minutes in, almost at eighty. Um, yeah, I didn't think. I didn't think I'd. Um, do this well because obviously it's been five months um, and it is quite basic but you still if you, when you're not practicing these routines it takes you a bit of time just to get into a rhythm of where you want the cue ball to land um, but yeah slipped into this one really quick confidence was good from you know from Saturday the day before I was feeling good 
even that even that middle sh middle pocket shot there was quite tricky uh, to use that side cushion get position for this pink in the middle on 92 that's two middle pockets I've gone for there and played it well aimed for the left hand side of that pocket there that's key for me I always seem to be catching that right side nice little shot there up for the pink good position just a little um, little shot now just to get on this red and yeah I was a little bit high on that one so let's use that side cushion a distance between the white and the red but on 99 this is quality this is quality super impressed with this that's a lovely shot there it is a hundred break that's two centuries back to back Saturday Sunday now I never thought I'd do that even though this is a bit of a basic routine but super pleased two centuries now I gotta get up for this yellow now I'm thinking to myself can I do my first ever clearance you know any routine you know any clearance is I think is major is a major milestone let's get this yellow that's a nice shot a little bit shorter pace a little bit shorter pace now 109 and I'm thinking can I get the clearance because I've got you know I clear the colors quite quite comfortable really let's get this green oh was not a good strike but as a, as the title says is it possible do you want to see a clearance thanks for watching guys see you next time